guys, how are you doing today? It's tired. I know here again, and beside me is the beautiful Vanessa Canby. Hey guys, and nice to see you again. <laughs> we came to show you guys one of the most unique properties in Ghana. It's a container house. I think this is something that is gradually becoming more common in Africa. Yeah. So we are in Kokobite. Kokobite, yeah. On top of a hill. Exactly. <laughs> so the, very the, steep road. There's, there's an advantage and a disadvantage to this. The advantage is the view. Like the sea is just amazing. Yeah, just check out the check out the sea. And looking us. over all the houses. The disadvantage <laughs> is the road. Like I had to get out the car on the way up. I was so scared. Yeah, when we're driving. <laughs> Driving up and eventually you said when we are going back, she's not going to be. Yeah, no, no, I'll, I'll be walking. The road goes down like this. <laughs> well, guys, let's check out the property. It's called Villa de Tuga. I think they have like six units mm -hmm. all together and they are built on top of each other. It seems like they have two 40 foot containers on top of each other and then on top of that you have to go in and out to get into each floor. From what I can see it seems the way they built it you wouldn't really know it's actually containers because mm -hmm. the bottom floor looks like it was made with like concrete, concrete yeah. and then the top one looks like it was made with wood. Yeah, but I exactly. think that's like an outer covering to mm -hmm. just make it look really nice. <laughs> Guys, you remember the container house I featured in Lagos, Nigeria? It's also a similar concept to this one. But what do you think about the way more people are embracing container homes? I think it's such a great thing because reusing things that you know might be finished with is a great way to move forward. Do you see yourself living in a container house? Yeah, I've actually considered it because they're really affordable. To buy a container, just a container on its own here is about 19,000 CDs. Which, oh, okay, you've done your research. Yeah, I have. <laughs> and, then, and then I've spoke to some people who actually do them, like make them into houses, and they're about 70,000 CDs with everything included, like toilet, kitchen. So that's like $10,000. $10,000. Are you serious? So that's really affordable. Maybe I'll be getting a container house to that myself. <laughs> so guys, let's check out one of the units here. This is the first unit here. I think this is the one bedroom. Yeah. So come along with us. So it's obviously quite narrow because it is yeah. a container. So guys, this is the kitchen with the basin and also stove. the stove. Stove? Is this a stove? Stove, isn't it? Electric stove. Okay. <laughs> Like on this side, you have your fridge here. There's a way they did this that they tried to manage the space. Then I'm sure this is like a shelf mm -hmm. where you can keep stuff. Plates and things like that. And there's also extra storage More area storage. here. I feel like they've made these out of wood, the, the cupboards themselves. Yeah. Which it's... again would be like cost effective. Well, usually I think most people that will come here will probably be like people staying here for like short periods, like Airbnb type yeah. people. So like you could have somebody down here cooking for you and yeah. you could be upstairs. So guys, let's check out what is on the first floor. Oh, this is so nice. Wow, the sound is really like, insulated. Yeah, it is actually. It? It you is. could have like some sort of music studio in here. Yeah, or YouTube studio. Yeah, yeah. You. Ooh. That Guys, is check out so this view. Nice. This is a dope view. Yeah, that's really, really cool. You can just look at all your limbos from here. And then there's this nice little seating area. Mm -hmm. You can watch TV, but I feel like you wouldn't even need to watch TV if you're up here. You just want to watch the view. This, this place might be good for getting new ideas for YouTube mm -hmm. videos. There are two air conditioners here. So this is probably a 40 foot container. Mm -hmm. So there will be like easier circulation of the whole coolness. I didn't expect the bed to just be right there for some reason. I thought it might be divided into another room, but it's quite nice that it's just open plan. At this moment, you still feel like you're inside a container. I actually don't, but at the same time, because it's narrow, you do feel like you're in. <laughs> yeah, you can almost touch both sides. I'm actually touching both sides as well. <laughs> because it's narrow, I feel like if you were building something, you probably wouldn't build it this narrow. So mm -hmm. in that sense, it kind of feels like a container. Okay. Yeah, but in true. another sense, you don't feel like you're in a container, container because it's cause all of, yeah, being like of everything. insulated and then plasterboard and then painted and all that. So let's check out the walk-in wardrobe look at that like a, you have a mini walk-in wardrobe or walk-in closet and then what this is your business this is very interesting oh and it's the same one for the shower as well yeah the same one for the shower what's your thoughts well first off it's high enough for me most showers always have problems i always been oh down. yeah so it's high enough for me i like the way they did the whole space management they were able to manage the space mm -hmm. well they kept the, the toilet at the far end of the house it seems like a full spot like a studio apartment Mm -hmm. I think there's also an area, like a balcony walkout area from here. This is like really nice and breezy because you're up Ooh. high. 
well, no, you can also like have a look at the view. Oh, I wouldn't, I wouldn't be leaning too hard. <laughs> so I think this is also like a cool place where you can have like your chair outside mm -hmm. if you want to be outdoors and also have a really nice view of the beach. I mean, the beach is really nice. I've actually stayed somewhere on that hill on the other side. And where we stayed the other night is also just straight nice. down there. Go and check out Vanessa's channel. She has so much. She, she's always going everywhere and yeah. going to all the nice, nice places. There's also another unit that is on a higher level. What's quite cool is that we started on like the ground level and we've come up, oh, but this whole section is up. I guess because we're on a hill, they must have had to divide it down yeah. and step the land. Yeah, I think that's what happened. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's what happened with that place. Almost the same similar design, but this one will probably have better view. So this is like a one bedroom okay. on its own. But I think they said the whole unit is two bedrooms. So you could probably take the whole unit and have two bedrooms, the one downstairs and the one upstairs. So it has a similar design. Okay. I really, up. really love this. This is really nice. Ooh, this is cool. Wow. This is nice actually. Like see the view. See how beautiful Ghana is. Ghana, Ghana what, is. What does Nigeria have that's similar? Is there anywhere like this? Most of the places close to the ocean are usually like flat land, so you won't get this kind of view. So I was telling Tayo that on Tuesdays, it is, somebody told me it's like bad luck to go to the beach. I didn't know, <laughs> I honestly had no idea. And then one day I was on the beach, I was doing a vlog, like, wow, it's so empty. And then people were like, why were you at the beach on a Tuesday? So that's why it's so empty then. The only thing is obviously the road is a little bit, I don't know which cars are definitely getting up here, which cars aren't. I don't think the normal cars will be climbing. You have to be using a four times four yeah. SUV, truck, <laughs> F-150. And I love the fact that they're doing something different and using containers. Like it's great to see people doing unique things in unique spaces. I can use something like this for like a vacation type house, but mm -hmm. living here, nah, I need to stretch my legs and my hands. <laughs> Shipping container homes have gradually been on an increase as more Africans have started to embrace them as a way to actually design homes, either for personal or commercial purposes. They are typically more cost effective than conventional housing because they require fewer building materials and labor to construct. They can also be set up in a smaller time frame than traditional brick and mortar construction. It's pretty interesting what you can do with 12 containers and an idea Idea. And I'm really excited to explore more unique home designs like this all across Africa in future videos. Do check out and subscribe to Vanessa's channel as she has more content about these types of buildings coming soon. Hope you guys enjoyed this tour. That's all we have for you today. Do hit the like button and subscribe to this channel as the goal for this month is to get to 300,000 subscribers. Thanks for watching and I'll see you guys on the next one. Peace. The road here is like very, very